Hello my friends, Enrique here and after the full tutorial guide on how to optimize Windows 11 for gaming, now I bring you the best settings for NVIDIA control panel for Windows 11. If you're running an AMD card, the settings are going to be a little bit different, but probably you will be able to follow along. The first thing that you want to do is to right click into the search bar and type NVIDIA. And right here you want to open the control panel. Now. One recommendation before you start to tweak all the settings right here in the control panel is to have the latest drivers. You can do it in two different ways. You can download it by installing and using the GeForce experience and going right here and there you are going to see the Windows 11 game ready drivers and you can download it here. If not, you can download it from the web page. All the links will be in the description down below. Now, let's start into the control panel and modifying all the settings. The first thing that you want to do is to go into 3D settings. I'm going to adjust image settings with preview. You want to be sure that you're using here the use the advanced 3D image settings. And when you click on the take me there button or you can click right here into manage 3D settings. Go in here and you want to be sure that you have into image sharpening, sharpening off, scaling disabled, ambient inclusion off, and isotropic filtering, application control, the anti-aliasing effects AA off, anti-aliasing gamma correction in on, the anti-aliasing mode, application control it. Everything that you see that say application control it, you're going to choose it in the options of the game that you're playing. Anti-aliasing transparency into off, background application max frame rate into off, CUDA UV use. You want to make sure that it's not selected into all, but instead you select the graphic card that you have in your system. Click OK. PSR factors into off. Low latency mode, you want to set it into off, but depending on the graphic card that you have, you want to set it into on. So check right here what is recommended by NVIDIA. You're going to know it by seeing the logo right here. Max frame rate is going to limit the frame rate that your game can do, so you want to set it into off. Monitor technology, here depending on the monitor that you have, if you have a G-Sync or FreeSync compatible, you want to select it right here. I recommend you that if you have G-Sync, you have it activated. Multi-frame sampled AA, set it into off. OpenGL rendering GPU. You want to change this from auto select and to have it in the graphic card that you have in your PC. Power management mode. You also want to change this from optimal power to prefer maximum performance. Obviously, this can give you the maximum performance that your GPU can do. Preferred refresh rate. You want to change this from application controller to the highest available. Shader cache, you want to set it into on. Texture filtering and isotropic sample, you want to set it into off. Negative LOD bias, you want to set it to allow. Texture filtering quality, depending again in your graphic card that you have, you want to set it into quality. But for max performance, I recommend you that you set it into high performance. But maybe you're going to lose a little bit of the quality, but if you want the maximal frames per second that you if you can do, you want to change it. Texture filtering, trilinear optimization, set it into on. Credit optimization, leave it in auto. Triple buffering, leave it into off. Vertical sync, use the three application settings. This is again like the G-Sync, depending on what you have in your monitor. Virtual reality, pre-render frames, leave it into one. And virtual reality, variable rate, super simple, leave it into off. Now let's go into configure surround physics. Here it's going to ask you to apply the changes. Click on yes. And the physics entity processor, you can leave it into auto select, but I would recommend you to choose your graphic cards depending on the GPU that you have. But auto select works really well. Now, into change resolution. This is important right here. You want to choose the native resolution from your monitor. For me, it's this one right here, but I'm using another one to be able to record the screen for this video. Of course, choose the maximal refresh rate that your monitor can do. Because, of course, if you buy one monitor with high refresh rate, you want to use it at a refresh rate, but sometimes it can happen that when you update Windows or you just install it, everything in your PC is going to be different of what the maximal refresh rate that your monitor can do. So you want to choose that one. And in here you can use the default color settings, but I recommend to use the NVIDIA color settings with of course the highest available color depth. Again here the highest available, output color format, I leave it in RGB, and output dynamic range, you want to leave it into full. Now click on apply and your monitor should adjust. It's going to ask you if you want to apply the changes, click on yes. And right here is nothing really more that you want to do. You want to of course be sure that you are using G-Sync if your monitor is enabled for that. And that is pretty much it. These are the best settings for the NVIDIA control panel for Windows 11 for gaming. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, drop a like if you find the video useful. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe if you want to see any more guides, tutorials and reviews on this channel. Thanks for watching my friend, and like always, I see you on the next time. Bye bye.